An Iranian official says any Israeli attack on its nuclear facilities would spark a wider regional war. He spoke to Al Jazeera Network after top Israeli leadership yesterday sent threats towards Iran. In a thinly veiled threat, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant on Tuesday said the recent fighting in the Gaza Strip pales in comparison to the complexity and difficulty of the main goal that Israel is preparing for. The missions in Shield and Arrow were carried out with great success, but the main goal for which we are preparing is more complex, more difficult and more significant. You need to be prepared at any moment. Rafael Yerushalmi, uh, an uh, intelligence officer previously at the IDF and a security analyst, joins us uh, now here in studio. Thank you very much uh, for coming in. Uh, yesterday we hear the same message from the chief of staff of the IDF, from the prime minister and from minister of defense. Are those the, the drums of war that we're hearing? They, they might be because uh, there are disquieting uh, uh, elements and factors coming from Iran. They really are advancing very far into their nuclear program. They're also arming themselves with very sophisticated equipment. We also have the coming of the Sohoi 22 planes from Russia, uh, a better air defense system. Uh, all this means that the window of opportunity for a successful, successful Israeli attack is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, there might be a need uh, to strike uh, before uh, what we thought would be the proper time to do so. Uh, the message, of course, is addressed to the enemy. There's a bit of psychological warfare there, uh, clear signals to the enemy, but also to the potential allies. I think uh, as parallelly to this, we have uh, some kind of a negotiations with uh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. We are telling the Saudis, uh, can we count on you? Will you be there? So there's also a regional message uh, addressed to Arabic countries. Will you be with us in a fight uh, against uh, Iran? Now, is it Iran only that uh, they are hinting towards? What about Hezbollah and pockets of Iran and Hezbollah, both in Lebanon and in Syria? Yes, it's Iran on the proxies, uh, but of course Hezbollah is the main threat. I mean, Iran is still a bit of a science fiction thing because it would, uh, indeed, the Iranians on that one are right. It would lead into a large uh, scale warfare, uh, combat uh, involving the whole region, destabilizing the whole region and maybe part of the world. Uh, but right now we have a much more local uh, and but painful threat is, is the Hezbollah uh, because of the number of uh, missiles and rockets that they have, around 120,000, maybe 150,000. And this would be a very, very complicated war. Uh, first of all, because of the civilian price on the Israeli side, some of these rockets would reach their targets and we would have civilian casualties, but also on the military side, on the other side, if we do have to uh, enter uh, Lebanese territory, it will be a very dangerous fight. We have uh, not such good uh, experience and memories from the last uh, time we did so in 2006. Uh, and this is much more worrisome and intricate. Uh, somehow the smaller enemy is more complicated to deal with than the larger threat uh, of the Iranians. Last, how interlinked are these uh, uh, announcements uh, yesterday? By, by the three top uh, leaders here in Israel to the political developments in the Knesset with the budget being passed. Uh, does Netanyahu now have a, a, a green light uh, to act? Well, Netanyahu is always suspected of using uh, security threats as a push for his political uh, moves. Uh, he's Mr. Security, he's promising you know, to lead the country uh, to victory and, and to make sure we are uh, safe. Uh, he's always suspected of that, but right now I think he can be above suspicion. The situation is really uh, uh, threatening, disquieting and dangerous. And I think uh, even though it might feel a bit uh, exaggerated that so many signals are set at the same time. Uh, I think they should be sent and uh, people should be aware. And I think the chief of staff, Hatsia uh, Levy, said it as, about, about Hassan Nasrallah. People should be aware of what we think. They should not misinterpret uh, what we say. Uh, so I think they wanted me to make it clear to the enemy that we know exactly what we are facing, that we are trying to get ready for it. We know we have some weaknesses. We have to improve on certain uh, 
points we are all conscious of what's going on and uh, they the enemy should know that okay Rafael you're me thank you very much